Hello everyone, this is Reverend Dr. Katie again, and I'm really glad to be back with you. We are just fresh from our chakra party from a few nights ago, and that was a lot of fun. I hope that you're still enjoying the benefits that we all had as a result of that party. And so today we are talking a little bit more about energy. We've been talking about energy for a few weeks, and we're going to keep on talking about it for a, a couple of days, and we're gonna maybe shift it to something, another topic next week, but we can can never really shift away from talking about energy because every single thing we do that we think that we pray requires energy of some sort and so it's up to us to decide if that energy is in balance if it's uh, out of balance do we correct it do we live with it being out of balance so in church life and working with Christians and I also work with people who are not Christians as well um, I find people who are so stuck in their energy and they get stuck in it for days, for weeks, for months, even for years. Um, you may have been there, maybe you are there, maybe you know people who are there, where we kind of get stuck in the same pattern, the same script, we live the same story day in, day out, nothing seems to change, even when we really, really want them to change. Well, Christians, I've got really good news for you. Uh, Jesus Christ is transformational, right? So we actually do have the ability to transform. And when we're using Jesus as our model, actually transformation is our goal. We're always transforming every single day to be more and more like Jesus, to be more like Christ, um, to let Christ live in our hearts at even deeper so that we can become more like Christ in our own souls and our own bodies. But sometimes it's hard to get there. I'm not going to lie. Um, this earth is not like the easiest place to make that happen, um, but we can. Uh, and one way we can do that is not being so stuck in those negative energies, but transforming all that stuff that needs to happen inside of us and outside of us as much as possible in order to get there, right? In order to be the disciples that we are called to be. So you are absolutely called to be a transformative creature and you're called to transform others, but one step at a time. So one way we can do that is by balancing our energy. So I'm gonna tell you a little story about how the angels came to my rescue last night. I'm staffing this retreat and I love doing this. I've been doing it for a couple of years now and it's with my denominational body. And so in staffing this retreat, there's just a lot of details. You know, there's more than 100 people attend. There's paperwork. There's last minute emails. There's copies. There's does someone have the, the, the cups and the plate and the bread and the papers and the whatever. And so last night, just all the last minute stuff, I thought I'm going to stay up as late as I can tonight and I'm going to get everything done and clear my day for tomorrow. Well, right away, that should have told me that that's not going to happen, right? Um, I was low on energy anyway, but I thought just push through, push through. This is my bad habit. Try to push through. And so um, about 11 at night, my computer was on about 11, per, no, 30% battery. And I thought, oh, I better plug it in. Went to my bank to grab my power cord to plug it in and my power cord wasn't there. So I do this periodically. I had left it at my office and normally going back and getting it is not a big deal. It's just a few minutes away, but it was 11 at night. I was already in my pajamas. I don't like to be in that building alone that late. And I thought, no, I'll just, I'll work for a few more minutes. Then I'll power down the computer. So I did that. Turn, just shut down the computer, thought, well, okay, it's time to finish laundry, get clothes folded, do all that kind of like household stuff right now. So I go to fold clothes and put clothes away. My dog is just sound asleep on top of the pile of clothes. And I thought, it's time to go to bed. This dog is teaching me a lesson. Um, I think the angels were kind of forcing me to make the best decision because for some reason last night, I wasn't able to make it for myself. And so I thought I just need to go to bed. And so I went to bed. I slept for like nine hours. I desperately needed the sleep. My energy was so out of balance. I couldn't even make a good choice for myself. Thank you, angels, um, for helping me make that particular choice at that moment in time. So I get up this morning, an hour later than I usually do, and I went to bed probably an hour earlier than I usually do. And so I woke up and I thought, okay, now I'll take care of those emails. Opened up my computer. The battery had completely drained the final like 20%. That usually doesn't happen actually with this computer. So I thought, okay, I have an hour this morning to not do that stuff again. And you know what? I've gotten everything done today. It was just fine, right? So my energy uh, is much more in balance now than it was. And there's lots of ways to get our energy in balance, what we eat, what we drink, what we do, but especially what we think. 
uh, thinking is energy, praying is energy. So when we can learn to do that in some of the right way, it will actually help balance our energy. So a really cool thing is coming up, which is one of the very neat eight days of the year where we really get to honor uh, seasons. And so on September 22nd, on this coming Friday, is the um, equinox. And so it is the day, it is the time of year when there's exactly an equal amount of light and of dark. It's a beautiful symbol that God has given us within the own earth that we live uh, to remind us about balance. And so this is a time of year when it's wonderful to focus on that sense of balance. Maybe you do feel un imbalanced. Maybe you feel like you can't balance work, play. Maybe you feel like you can't balance family life, personal time or prayer time and mission time and going and doing instead of just being. Both are really important, but it is important that we find balance. So if you do feel imbalanced in your own life, take a moment, reflect on that and write it down in the comment box for me. You can private message me uh, because I would love to know how I can help you with that the most. Um, so this is a great time of balance. So equinox, we also have solstices and we also have the point, the midpoint between an equinox and a solstice, which is called a cross quarter day. So I happen to be, my birthday is on a cross quarter day. So I love that day. Um, not because it's my birthday necessarily, but it's a, I love that my birthday is on a cross quarter day. Um, and there's a lot of other stuff that happens on that day too. Um, so at some point in time, it might be worthwhile for you to do a little work around like what days are really special for you uh, in those calendar years, because the good news is every single year, you'll get to experience that and look forward to it. Okay, so talking about energy balancing and being imbalanced, I want to turn our attention to the program that I have been talking about. I'm really, really excited about this. And this whole program is designed to transform your energy in your Christian journey so that you can be the best, most balanced, most spirit-filled, transformed person that you are called to be. Lots of you have been asking me questions about this, so I just wanna take this opportunity to explain a little bit what this program is and I need several beta testers who will be able to enter the program at a really, really steeply discounted price um, to help me the first time through. So this is the first time through. It's all outlined. Uh, it's ready to go. I know exactly what the content is. So the first group, though, will be helping me work out some of the kinks, but also getting really great content. So this is material I've been studying for 20 years or so, if I do all the math. Uh, and one way or another, I'm an ordained minister. I'm also a New Testament scholar. So lots of you have been having questions about the Bible. Well, how do you make sense of this verse? What do you do with this? That's my cup of tea. I love to help you work through that so that when you are talking to people who have really negative energy and they're trying to ask you questions like, well, how can you think that? How do you, how do you, how can you be a Christian? And also like chakras, you will have really informed, ready to go answers to enter into conversation with them and keep your own cool, right? So that's the most important part. So I will teach you how to do that as a component of this program, but we're also going to be learning about transforming energy, energy, uh, transforming energy in our prayer life, transforming energy in by balancing chakras, in looking deeply at our dreams, in working with oils, in talking about angels and tapping into some of that energy that's all around us all of the time. And I know that a lot of churches, a lot of other people will say that's taboo. You can't do that. Or even that it's demonic. Believe me, I have heard it all, all of it. Um, nothing that I do was demonic. Everything that I do and that I want to share with you is rooted in the transforming love of Jesus Christ. And so Christ has called me to this position and it's been such a wild ride. And I want to share some of that with you in a smaller, more intimate group. Um, and I know that Christ has called you, Christ calls all of us to live the fullest, most wild, wonderful life possible. Uh, and I am, 
I've been living a wonderful life and my life is getting more wonderful. And I'm, I'm just really, really excited about that. And I know that that can be true for everyone. So if you're ready to stop living the same story that nothing can change, then this might be a really, really good program for you. If you feel like you have begun that process of transformation, but you need an expert to help you on your way, then I would love to be that person if we are a good, energetic, uh, compatible fit. Not everyone will be, and this program isn't for everyone, and that's okay. In fact, I talked to someone yesterday. You know, I said, actually, I think this program is not for you for these reasons, but I want to help resource you in other ways. So I'm committed to your transformation no matter what. And if it's with this program, then that's fantastic. If it's not, then I will point you in the directions that you need to be pointed in. All right, so beta testers, I'm looking for you. So if you kind of have that like tingly something or another right now, then it's a great time to reach out to me. Um, this will be limited to like eight to 10, maybe 12 beta testers. And after those beta testers are enrolled, that, that portion will close. And then when we open when we open enrollment again, the price will change at that point in time, just so you know, because I want you to be fully informed. Um, once you enter into the program, which is called Awakening and Transforming Your Spirit, once you do that, you will have lifetime forever and ever and ever access to the program. So in 10 years, you want to go back and look at some of the material. You can do that. I'll store it for you. You don't have to store all the materials. It's combination of video. It's combination of one on one. You will get personal time with me. You get the group dynamic and all the stuff that everyone else knows. So I'm I'm really excited about it. I've taught in universities for years. Hey, I get great evals. If you want my evals, I can give them to you. My students really liked me. Um, but whether they like me or not is not as important as they would tell me at the end of the class, uh, you know, Dr. Valentine, I see the Bible in ways I never saw the Bible before. I never knew my story was in there. And now I can see some of my story. And in fact, I had a young man who was a delightful young man, not hostile at all. He was atheist. So I'm atheist, but, you know, this is a required class. I have to take it. And at the end of the class, um, or within a year of the class, I was in touch with him about something else. And he said, you know, I was an atheist when I started that class, but now as a result of this class and other classes, I'm actually more agnostic because I'm able to see my story in scripture in a way I wasn't before. So our program here is not only about scripture, but I am giving you those examples of testimonials of people who have worked with me and been able to see things in whole new lights that they didn't see before. That's my goal for all of you. It's my journey. It's the journey I want to share with all of you too. And so that's where we are right now. So that is awakening and transforming your spirit. So if you do want to find some more balance in your own energetic self, find life more deeply in Christ with a small community of people who will journey with you and I'll be there for each other. And also have some one-on-one -on -one time with me as your guide and as your expert in some areas. And I'm also a learner with you as well. Then I would love to be that person. So how long is the program? The program will be eight weeks. Um, we'll, have an, we'll have some intro time, but we're going to really dive right in right away. And then eight weeks will conclude that people will be new people will be coming in all of the time. So the community will change constantly, but I'll also pair up you guys. If you want like small groups to work with within the larger group, we can do that too. So you can have personal time and large group time. But I love large groups because you never know who's going to have the answer to your problem. And so that's the beauty of a group. So I'll facilitate the groups, but the groups will also kind of help run themselves. So if that's something you're interested in, drop me a line. You can private message me. You can email me. I will put down my email in the comments. Okay, so that's my email. You can send me an email. Um, you don't, if you don't do it, do it today. Hey, I want to hear from you. I want to know. Um, but I will be taking phone calls beginning on Monday. So if you express interest, I will send you a form to fill out and then you'll go and you'll book an appointment with me on my own calendar. So that's really where we are. So Friday, y'all, Friday is the equinox. Um, time to get balanced, drink some water, do some yoga, go outside put the laundry to the side, to the side.
outside just for a minute or two, like I did last night. Uh, turn off your computers, not right now. <laughs> uh, turn off your computers and go experience the beautiful balance of light and day that God has given us. And then experience that in your own life too. And if you continue to feel unbalanced, contact me because um, I want to help you get there. And uh, and the best, truest uh, way possible. Again, I'm just really passionate about people being able to transform their lives um, because there's nothing more painful than watching someone be stuck in their story for longer than they need to be. And I don't want I don't want you to be that person. Um, those of you who I know we've been talking about spiritual awakening, those of you who have experienced tons of spiritual awakening lately, this might be the kind of Kickstarter to continue on your journey and also give you some framework for understanding what's happening to you. Because that's really important. Sometimes we have spiritual awakenings and we don't have anyone to talk to about it. Um, and that can leave us feeling a little lost and out of sorts. And it has us wondering if what's happening to us is real or not. Um, so I can help you with all of that. So that is my profession and my calling in life. Um, so I think, oh, yes, the class is all online, all online. You can do it from anywhere. You can just, as long as you can log in on a computer or on a phone, then you can do it. So I think that is it for tonight. You want to find balance, you want to be transformed, contact me. I'm looking for beta testers right now. And then we'll get you, we'll get you started. I'll give you some more information. We'll have, uh, when, when you're deciding if this is right, if this is the good program for you, we will have a personal conversation about that. So you will not have to decide that on your own. I will actually help you with that. Um, so I can't wait to talk to all of you and I can't wait to see who's going to experience these transformations in this kind of small group dynamic and with some one-on-one -on -one time with me. So I'm, I'm looking to see who God is calling. I have my suspicions, but I think some of you will surprise me too. So that is it. Have a great night. I will be online a little bit over the weekend, but I will be out of town. Uh, I will be checking my email when I can, and I will be getting back to you. So I'll join you live again on Monday next week. And until then, I will just see you in in the comments. Talk to you soon and have a great night. Bye-bye.